the John Wayne Resort Campground. When we originally got there, we were a little depressed about, wouldn't you say? Underwhelmed. <laughs> Underwhelmed. Because we were like, oh, this is supposed to have, what, four stars or something yeah. like that? Yeah, the picture's on the and website. And the picture on the website shows it right on the ocean. Well, there are some sites that are over by the marina. And the first row, you can actually really see the bay. But even from our camper, we could see the bay. So, but at first we're like, oh, okay, this is not what we thought we really were getting into. I wonder what it's going to be like. But as we stayed there a day or two, we found out it actually is a really nice campground. It is. It's very it, well it's very, run. It's very well run. The camp host checks on, checks on stuff. He asks if you need anything. He kept us informed. They rode around with the excessive heat. They were worried about the electricity going out, which it did one of the nights. Now, it might have the other night, but we didn't get back till really late, so we wouldn't know. But he did a really good job of keeping us informed, putting letters on everyone in the door saying, hey, we may lose electricity. Um, the facilities were very clean. They yeah, all talked to everybody. They talked to everybody. They were very helpful. So, looks isn't always your first impression, you know, usually is, you can tell. This is one of those few times where the first impression really isn't accurate. Right. So it, it ended up turning out to be a really nice campground. And one of the big pluses was their internet was extremely fast. Yeah. It was really good internet. Probably one of the best ones we've had in a long time at a campground. So the location was perfect. The location was perfect. Um, the atmosphere was great. Could they put a little bit of money into it and make it, you know, a five-star? Super yeah, resort, sure. super easy. But do they really need to know? They really pack a lot of memorabilia, knickknacks, clothing, anything you can think of uh, to buy in this little store. There was a few items, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Looks like they have a little patio area here. Garden, horseshoe pits, we passed for a volleyball net at one time, community fire pit, huh? community fire pit, yeah. uh, single corn, oh there's a no, double. There's, there's double. And then the shout out the That's a tents? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tent. Tent, you know, permanent's over there. Tent camping over here. And then the dock's right next to the wall. Kids' corner. Laundry room's open 24 hours. They have two dryers, one big one and one smaller. And then they have two washing machines. One's a dollar fifty, and then the large one's two dollars. Two dollars to wash or dollar fifty or dollar fifty or, or, or two. And then they have a sink. Sink. So not a bad price. Then. This is the one I like to find. Here's a few sites of the campground itself, and here is a view of the lots. We walked to, there's the John Wayne uh, campground office. Our camper's right over here. And we walked across this little path. 
to the uh, water over here. So that's why they call it John Frayne's Waterfront Resort. It's sort of on the water, not really, but kind of. We were told there's a good restaurant over here, so we're going to go check it out. This is the harbor area. Boat docks. A lot of medium-sized sailboats and like pleasure boats. Pretty nice. Nice little walk to the restaurant, too. So we just ate at the Dockside Grill here at Seacomb. How do you say it? Squim. Squim. Squim is Squim. the name of the town. And it was a really good meal. Um, a little expensive inside, but, but it was worth it. it's nice getting a good meal once in a while. And uh, we were, they had a statue of John Wayne in there too. So we decided to look, see what the connection here was with this town and the campground and now this dock with John Wayne. So we did some Googling and found out that he owns well, his trust, his, his trust now, owns the land or did own the land or they're trying to sell it. So we're not sure if he still owns it or if he got it. He's trying to give it to the city somehow or have the city buy it so we don't know if he has anything to do with it anymore or but there is a john wayne tw trust still that owns and one of the kids was it michael wayne I don't, know. I don't know it was one of the kids he had his last name was wayne um was a trustee so that's why everything around here is john wayne because he this is where he had a house he had a house he owned this land so he owned the land and he would sail his boat or his ship uh, his yacht which was called the goose I think wild goose. the wild goose and this is where he came to so he only when he died he only owned like three properties and this is one of the three he owned one in Arizona one here and then it must have been one in California yeah Going this way? Yep. The thing is, this is like the only public shore in this town still. So, in our campground, the land that it's on it's looks like his. they owned it too. He owned it too. So, kind of different, but anyway, we didn't expect that to get that John Wayne connection. Thank you for watching our review of the John Wayne Resort Campground and Marina. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So thank you. Thank you.